Clay, this is your May 22nd, 2024 lesson. Um, let's look at the one on the right here. Uh, first of all, let's just... See, this is when you're hitting the ball well. I think we actually moved the ball up, but maybe not. But, you, you know, you, you made some good contact um, early on. So if we just take it back here and let it go through. So, you know, from this angle, everything looks pretty good. You know, you're, you're staying over the ball. Your right, right hip is moving back. Your left, now your left hip is moving back. Your belt buckle is about where your left hip started. Uh, the head is relatively centered, you know, so, and then you end up, yeah, you end up like this. Uh, you know, all the weights on your left foot, you're doing the toe dance with the right foot. Um, you know, you got the belt buckle at the target. So there, there's a lot of good moves there. Um, so you can actually play from this position. Now, if you look at the your address position, see how the club head, see how the shaft, the green line is actually going back. So you're adding loft to to your driver. So if you've got a <clears throat> 10 and a half degree loft <clears throat> driver, you're actually got um, maybe uh, 13 and a half or 14 degree driver loft uh, because of where your hands are. Now, when you go back and come into the impact area, you know, at this impact, I don't have the exact input, but I have close. Okay, so the, the shaft is about where it started at impact. Uh, in reality, the, the good guys have it, uh, their hands leading, and they've taken a little of the effective loft off the club. <clears throat> it's not causing any great trauma. I just want to point it up that, you know, you probably want at a dress, you probably want, well, you want it off your left, you want the ball off the left heel, and, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't do you any harm having getting off the left toe. And then your hands are at, at your inseam. So that they'll be either even with a ball or slightly leading. That's more or less what you expect. So now you, so you can play from it, from, you can play with this swing from this angle. But if you look at it closely, you know, you get to the top and, and this is the position it is quite good. The left shoulder is really turned around behind the ball. That left calf is caved in, which is nice. Um, so, but here, now watch just the shoulder action here. See that shoulder spinning out? So you're, you go to the top. Now watch that. You know, at this point, see this? See that shoulder just taking over? It's just spinning. Okay. So... With it spinning, then you got a little cast in here, and you know this this is the this is a, a a power leak right here. So there's no lag build up, and you got the shoulders spinning. That's why it's so hard for you to get it to keep it from going over the top on the downswing. Is is you got this? See his right shoulder just coming right towards the camera. Bing. <laughs> In reality, you know, there there's a moment here, uh, if you just look at, you know, on the weight shift, you're not really, really, really shifting the weight either. But, you know, this is things you can refine. Um, you know, just the, the first thing out of the block is it's just a shoulder rotation. Okay. But, you know, the good news is you can, you can actually play with this swing. It's just... You know, there's some power leaks and also some inconsistencies built into it. But, you know, at least you're relatively on plane as you approach the ball. Okay, so let's go to the left side. So this is where you can see a lot of things. So this takeaway is better than ever. See how the hands really aren't, you know, shoving away from your body. So that, that fix is great. See how everything's really on plane? Okay, so then you get to this point, and in this one, 
you're a little across the line. So you got the fight coming down too steep. And sure enough, as you start here, this is before that left shoulder pulled out. So this this is uh, this is the this is the death move. So it should be pointed, you know, somewhere close to the ball, or at least semi parallel to those yellow lines. And now, you know, with some practice, now you're you're shallowing it out, but you're throwing your hands at the ball. Now look, and you're trying to work it back. So at this point, here. So that's all on plane. Uh, but but the bad news is you have to go from the red line angle uh, represented by the red line to an angle represented on, by the yellow line in order to hit the ball <laughs> uh, in mid swing. So it, it's you got to be a surgeon, okay? So so as you come in, so your butt comes away from the back wall drastically, then you rotate around that front hip, and in order to keep from falling your face, you go from this nice spine angle to early extension standing straight up. So you, you, get, you just have to work and keep in that. I'm rotating around your spine. See, see, from here on, you're just rotating see, right around your left, left hip. See this? And then the right hip goes flying out towards the ball. So, um, yeah, so there's some opportunities to refine your swing from this pers perspective.